So the Power BI team released the April update for 2024 and one of the things they changed was the line chart. So now you can individually pick the color of each line. And even though they haven't given us the possibility to change the color with the, with the metric, because they are separated now, we can actually hack the tool to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I will tell you the good and the bad, and then you choose if you do it or not. Let's get started. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We have, this is the Northwind data set that we always use. I have a list of categories, I just pick three. Um, just to exemplify what needs to be done, and then if I pick beverage, it highlights beverage. If I pick condiments, it highlights condiments and dairy. That so it it does work, um, but as you can see, you will see when we hack this that if you have a lot of data, this is not optimal at all. But let me show you. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to grab the calendar. I'm going to grab the month name. And then I'm going to put the categories in here, so you see. And I'm going to create a slicer. Let's pick a normal slicer for now. So for the purpose of this tutorial, it's no point that I do all of them. I'm just going to do this one or two. So here we have our categories. And when we're filtering these, it's filtering that. Lovely. What we're going to do now is I'm going to create a new measure. And we're going to do this first for the beverage category. So beverage, yes. That means if somebody has chosen beverages on the slicer. So, so if selected value of the categories is beverages, then we're going to calculate the sales for that. So calculate the sales for category name so and now if i put this beverage yes here it's going to give us the sales for the category beverages okay nice now in order to be able to change the color of the line you know the difference between let me show you so if i change this into a line chart the difference between the modern line chart and the old chart line chart is that you can put more categories in the y-axis. Now, I've noticed though that sometimes it happens like this, that it's broken. It won't give you the possibility. I don't know why. What I've done is that I start from the scratch. So I go in here and then I do x-axis and I put month name and then y-axis and I pick the, and you see it works now, it's, it has to be broken. And there's a lot of things that are broken, unfortunately, but I'm going to show you how to get around just so you can get it done. So we have the month name, we have the beverages, and it's not showing us anything because I haven't chosen anything. If I choose beverages, you remember our measure, it says, if beverage is selected, so you have to have it selected. So if it is selected, it shows. And then if we go to the formatting pane here online, so you can see that a series appear. It didn't appear before. Now, again, this is broken. So it won't appear. All the measures that you put in there, yeah, they are not going to appear here. Sorry, I, they, they just don't. So you, you will have to... I'll show you. I'll show you how you do it. It's just horrible. Anyhow, we go in here, and I have already have all the measures created. There's no point of me to, you know, go one by one through them. But this is beverages when nothing is selected. So it says, if category names is not beverage, then calculate beverages. That's all it's doing. So it's calculating beverages regardless if it is selected or not. But we have different measures for it. So I am going to add all those measures in here. So I have... Beverage not selected, beverage selected, con condiment selected, not selected, condiment selected, dairy not selected, and dairy selected, right? So they are all in there now. So now the only thing that we need to do is format these. So let's see if it lets me. More options, and then we go to lines, and they should appear here. As you can see, only a selected few appear, I guess because 
maybe because of the slicer in there that is already chosen some and it doesn't it only shows you the ones that are but it's not really so because if I have beverage here you should say beverage yes condition no dairy no but beverage no it shouldn't be there so I just don't know but anyhow all the ones that are no I'm going to color them gray gray then you go up condiments gray is a no and then dairy is a no I'm going to color them gray and then for the beverage that is correct I'm going to pick a little bit stronger color and I'm going to increase the weight a little bit so you can see it now something that I would also love to do is to set the where the line is so we would like to the selected line obviously to be on top of the other line so it can be seen now we don't have a lot of lines but if you do have a lot of lines it gets really messy hopefully in the future who knows I don't want a legend, I don't want a title. Now, to be able to access the other measures, we're going to actually select them here. So you select condiments here, and then go in here. You see that others show up? So now we have suddenly condiments, yes. So I can just pick that up and give it another color and a higher weight. And then I can pick dairy products and then a stronger weight. And then suddenly I have beverages, condiments, and their products. So unfortunately, it is a little bit broken. Also, we are calculating the same things over and over again, just so we can tag the proper color to each measure, which if you have a lot of data, is not great. But if you don't have a lot of data, this actually works, and it does what it's supposed to do. But I'm really, 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 really hoping that they will give us the possibility to color these and everything else for that matter with measures. That would be the correct way. But I hope this helps you and I'll see you again in the next one.